Welcome back to another eBay Spectrum Special. Uh, unlike the last video, I actually know that this one works because, well, actually that's a lie. I've seen screenshots of it on eBay working. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work when it arrives. Uh, so it's a bit of a better condition than the last one. Uh, this, is, this thing's in a bit of a state, I'll be honest. There is some highly questionable sticky stuff on the keys, which I don't particularly want to touch. Uh, and something very strange has happened to the faceplate on here. It's, uh, it's it's almost melting in places, which is kind of really odd. I've never seen that beforehand. It's a very strange finish. Uh, and something else I also noticed as well, there's only one screw holding it in the back, so somebody's obviously been in there. Uh, from the last video, and people have know what I'm about to say now, I just noticed there was a sticker on there and I'm wondering if it was the same size as the other sticker. And it's not. Oh well. Fleeting thought. This one is a 16K model, or it was advertised as 16K. Missing all the feet. Uh, so I'm just going to take it apart and have a bit of a look. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, I think it's seen better days this one. Uh, once again, I haven't been inside this at all. Uh, I try and try to like to do these things on camera because then you're going to see everything that falls out of this. So it might be absolutely fine, in, this, in which case it's going to be the most boring video ever. But you never know. Oh, that screw's done in there well. Actually, that's not even the correct length screw. So, yep. I notice actually we've got a bit of rust in the screw hole down here, which is interesting, and rust in there as well. Let's have a look, shall we? See what we've got. Ah, uh, yeah, someone's. Yeah. Membrane ribbon is snapped on that side. In fact, the other half of it's still stuck in the keyboard connector. That one was just very loosely put in. Put that to one side. And we've got some rust on the regulator heatsink screw. The board has some very weird um, white residue on the top of the ICs. There we are. You should be able to see that a bit better now. So yeah, there's some weird white schmoo on this. It is kind of generally everywhere. And there's a bit of rubbish on top of that. In fact, the uh, back of the speaker is a bit rusted. Also, there's no retention screw. And oh, oh, that's, yeah, that's lovely. This has been underwater. Oh, look at that. Look at the tide marks on that. Oh, that is beautiful. In a horrible way. Ugh. Okay. And on the back of here. What is all this? I don't know where this has been. Something somewhere not that pretty, I don't think. Oh, that is nasty. Yeah, is there a... I think there's a capacitor broken. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it is a cap. Broken in there. Yeah, just above the... Um, just above the ROM, there's a ceramic capacitor that's popped. It's going to take the heatsink off if that rusty screw will 
Oh, that, sorry, that rusty nut will... Oh, wow. <laughs> that is... Yeah. Okay. That's going to put up a bit of a fight, isn't it? Gee! <sighs> Who needs Loctite when you have a rust? Wow. Look at that, that is disgusting. Oh yeah, this has been underwater all right. You can see that there. Ugh. And... I've just dropped something on the floor. We've got a cap. Cluster there. You see that? Half of it's blown its ass out somewhere. That is weird. I wonder if that's shorted and it's just basically shat its pants. Wow, this board's had a bit of a hard life. I haven't even actually tested if this works yet. I think I really need to clean this up before we go any further. And also look at replacing that. So it's C41. I think it's time to get the... Well, I'm not going to be gentle over this. And this certainly is not going to be to the same standard as the last video. I'm just going to pre-warn you guys and girls. Uh, yeah. Wow. This is going to be a big nasty cleanup, isn't it? Whole shed load of IPA, and I think I'm just going to go in and give it a real good scrub. I hope half this shit comes off. I'm so intrigued to see what this white stuff was. It's not the same as, it's not like, it's not granular, um, like that, those tide marks are there. It's more like solidified liquid. You know, like a sort of type of sort of silicon or something like that. It's got a bit, bit of tackiness to it. Could have been something that the board was coated in and the water is, or whatever the contamination is, has just kind of made it all bulk together separately, which is like why it looks how it's, uh, why it looks like that. Try and get that. Remaining part of the membrane out here. Now oh, this is going to be fun. Cue a video now for the next 30 minutes of me picking out a bit of membrane. Life is really exciting sometimes, isn't it? Oh, come on, you shit.
is really wedged in there well. I got it. That was a bit of a struggle. That was gentle of me, wasn't it? Let's see if we can get rid of some of that rust around the regulator. I'm not going to be replacing any of the components on this. I really don't think it's going to be worth it. This is going to be a more of a band-aid fix. Sorry to disappoint. Let's flip this over. What is that? solid it flakes off like paint back of this board is really really tacky as well Ooh. there we are now you can see more what I'm seeing now that is beautiful I mean who doesn't want that in their life that flaking off. That's nasty. Oof. All right, I really need to clean all that up. And around that hole there as well, with the regulator. That is just filthy. So let me just frisbee this into a pond or something and then go, oh, actually, maybe I better keep it. I'm really interested to know what the hell that shit is down there. And looking at this, I don't think the board has actually had any work done on it in its time. All the soldering looks uniform on this one, apart from... I take that back. TR4. TR4? TR4 has been replaced at some point. Yeah. Right. Let's get this sticky shit off here. Good news is it actually seems to be coming off quite nicely. I don't know if that's going to change once it dries. Anyway, time for a tea break. Ah, oh, that is disgustingly cold. In fact, I don't even think that's recent. do now is quickly just evaporate this off. Get my arm out of the way. Just to see if that white staining comes back. I'm only at a very low temperature on the uh, hot air rework station, about 100 degrees, so nothing's going to cook or die. Just a little bit, just to have start evaporating the alcohol off here. That looks quite nice. For what it's worth. 
Well, that gack has come off. Cool, don't need to try that any further. Onward with the cleaning then. Let this all soak. Wow, that expansion port has had some use. Like, a yeah, hell of a lot of use. I kind of reckon this is one of those spectrums that never had a permanent home in the early 80s, which is not surprising really, because most people use these on their domestic TVs and people realistically probably only had one TV, so you know, this used to come out of a cupboard and get set up in front of the uh, household TV, probably in the front room. And then afterwards, never had a permanent home, so everything got unplugged from it and put back in the cupboard. So probably explains the amount of wear that's on there. Anyway. I may just be making that up, but that's kind of where my brain goes with it. Yeah, TR4 has definitely been replaced on there. That looks quite nice now. i am just be careful saying it looks too nice. Because then I'll start getting attached to it, and then I'll start wanting to replace it, and then this little video will end up like the last video. Which some of you won't. Really mind, I'm sure. There is, can I see, look at that, look how sticky, it's like, it's like resin, like tree sap or something. Pretty sure it's not flux, because who would use that much flux on a board? TR4, as far as I can tell, is the only component to be replaced. And if this works, this will be another ULA I've got. Another working ULA. Just a word of warning if you're ever going to use uh, alcohol around the modulator, uh, alcohol will actually start to bleed out the red and stuff on there, so just go around there very gently. If you're going to be a bit weird like me and clean that up so it looks marginally nice. God, that's nasty. Put that to one side. Clean up that screw as well. If 
it's actually needs something a bit more abrasive on it. in a lot better condition. Still no idea why I'm bothering so much to actually clean these up. I suppose somebody has to. It's quite interesting there was no um, there was no upper washer on this one. Notice normally there's a, a spring washer uh, that sits between the and the head of the screw and the top of the heatsink, but there wasn't. So all we've got is a star washer that goes on the underside of the board. It doesn't really make any difference, it just provides a bit of clamping force. It's just interesting to see. Really, yeah. Maybe somebody was having a bit of a boring day on the assembly line, just thought they'd mix it up a little bit. Or maybe people just didn't care. I've assembled that back together. Put a little bit of thermal paste behind there. And now I'm going to actually see if this thing works. So I'm going to take it across to the other side of the man cave and plug it in and uh, watch for the sparks. I've let all the uh, alcohol evaporate off this now. So uh, not that it really makes much difference, but in case anyone's been a bit pedantic. And I haven't replaced that cap that was in there. Uh, primarily because I've had a little bit of a look around and I cannot find one of the same value or the same type. So this was advertised as working with pictures, but I'm hoping it's just going to work with the cap that's half blown apart there. It might not be blown apart, maybe somebody went in there with a screwdriver through the back of the uh, expansion port. And I've just noticed the top half of the connector is rather gacky as well, and I haven't cleaned that. Nice. Okay, across to the other bench we go. What do you reckon? Is it going to work? Ready? Oh my word. There we are. It does actually work. That's a miracle. You can see once again it's looking a little bit cleaner than it was beforehand. In fact, it doesn't have to look bad at that angle. Then again, even I look good in some angles in the light. I just double check with the thermal imager, see if that capacitor is actually getting really hot or not. And it's not. So I think that somebody has actually been in there with a screwdriver and it's. Uh, it's mechanical damage because that is not warm at all. Of course, you know, it might have died and then gone open circuit, so that may be the reason. But the only thing left to do now is to clean all that shit out of there. Ugh. Look at it all. But nobody wants to see that, do they? Anyway, it works. It's a bit beaten up, to be fair. I will replace that ceramic cap. It's loitering in there when I can find one. And I shall add it to the collection of useless rubbish. I mean, uh, collectibles that I have stored in the man cave.